We are now joined by Sophia Carson, a multi-platinum award-winning singer and songwriter and actor known for roles in Descendants and Pretty Little Liars. On top of all that, she's an ambassador for the Latin Grammy Cultural Foundation and UNICEF. Now she is the star and an executive producer of the new Netflix film, Purple Hearts, about two people with different backgrounds who get married for military benefits, but then ultimately fall in love. Let's take a look. Here's what you need to know about me. Music is my everything. But every time I sit down to write something, all my medical problems get in the way. Dear Cassie, I'm a third generation Marine. I thought that by enlisting, I could earn my dad's respect. Now that I'm actually here, I'm doing it for me. My dear husband. My darling wife. So exciting to take a look at thank this. You. Sophia, thank you so much for joining thank us. Thank you for having me. So give us a sense of the film, what it is, and what attracted you to it. This film is a really beautiful and powerful love story. I play Cassandra Salazar, a pretty incredible, remarkable young woman who is you know, the daughter of an immigrant, a type 1 diabetic who's kind of struggling to fight within the system that's fighting against her. And out of desperation to afford her insulin, she ends up getting into a contract marriage for health benefits with a Marine whose name is Luke, who stands for everything she was raised to hate. And our love story kind of takes place in a unique way, it takes place after they've been married and they begin to kind of fall in love and see each other for more than just right and left or red and white, but for human beings. And it's such a, a powerful message that I think the world needs to hear now more than ever. And as you say, you really tackle some of these important themes of the high cost yeah. for prescription medication, Correct. for immigration, yeah. um, struggles with addiction, as also not just an actress in the movie, but also an executive producer. How much responsibility did you feel to, to really get it right when, when conveying these themes? An immense amount of responsibility. And I think Liz, my incredible director, who I could not have done it without this, without her, that was our goal, was to lead with honesty and truth and vulnerability and to be able to really pay tribute to this character, to these stories, and to these incredibly important messages that we were telling in this story. And as I mentioned already, you're a Latin Grammy ambassador. Yes. You also play a Latina musician. Is this really art imitating life a little bit? Interesting. You know, I think I always find, a, as artists, we find a piece of ourselves in all of the stories that we get to tell. But to me, it was really important that Cassie's, you know, background was really told truthfully and honestly and very much inspired in the relationship between me and my mom. And for instance, how we speak and sometimes English and Spanish and interchange that so often. And um, of course, my, you know, dreams of being a writer and a musician are similar to Cassie's and the struggles that I went through as a songwriter and the frustrations. We put a little bit of that into Cassie as well. So it's fun to kind of find that within your characters. What I also find so impressive is all the hats that you wear Thank because you. you not only are an executive producer and an actor and a musician, but you wrote the soundtrack, I right? Did. I'd like to take a listen um, to one of the songs. Beautiful. Thank you. What's the process that, that goes into, and what do you tap into when, when writing a, a soundtrack for like this for Purple Hearts? I had never written a soundtrack mm. before. I've been writing music since I was about 10 years old, but always for myself, from my point of view, never to serve a certain purpose in the story or for a different, from a different character's perspective. And so I had the honor that Netflix and Liz and our team confided in me to be able to, to write this soundtrack. And I wrote it with an incredible songwriter, Justin Tranter, who is just iconic, truly. And in order to write these songs, I had to dive into Cassie's heart to bring her story to life through music. And I got to know her really intimately in the process. And it was a whirlwind. We wrote the entire soundtrack in one week. and. Um, it was beautiful. It was such a wild ride. It feels like there are so many aspects of your own life that are reflected here in, mm -hmm. in the movie. What do you hope that viewers will take away from this movie? I hope that they feel identified. I hope that they feel moved. I hope that they feel, um, I hope they fall in love with mm -hmm. the love story. 
and the message behind it because when I first read the script, what struck me and what represents, or what the Purple Heart represents is these two hearts, one red, one blue, who were raised in a divided world, a divided country, who through the power of love come together mm. and form a beautiful shade of purple. And um, it's such a message of hope that I think the world needs now desperately we certainly yeah. need that message sophia thank you thank you so much for joining us thank you. and want to let our viewers know purple hearts premieres this friday july 29th on netflix hi everyone george stephanopoulos here thanks for checking out the abc news youtube channel if you'd like to get more videos show highlights and watch live event coverage click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the abc news app for breaking news alerts thanks for watching